And then I have, as you know, a couple of revenue raisers. Now, what are those? Well, one, we now make it illegal for adults to gamble on the Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have some guy who wants to play poker on the Internet, we say it's illegal. Why that's anybody's idea of the government's business is beyond me. We could make billions of dollars a year by making it legal and taxing it. Whenever you try and prohibit something yeah. that people want to do... Yeah, but see, see I, I kind of disagree with that. See, to me, Vegas works because you have to cross the desert to get there. You have to, make an, you have to make an effort. You go to the desert, you lose your money, and you come home. And you can't, you can't go to the desert again unless you get more money. If you're sitting at home, and you're up late at night, and you got your little credit card, but, 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 next thing you know, it's, it's like a mini bar. Two you're things. not going to eat potato all, chips unless they're in the mini bar. First of all, there are casinos all over the place. You don't have to cross the desert to get to Mississippi, New Jersey, No, no, but you, you but have secondly, to physically move. I agree, David. Here's what we did in the bill that passed the committee mm -hmm. I chair. We do not allow you to do it with a credit card only with a debit card or a prepaid card. Okay. That is, and I agree with that. Okay. So, but there are ways to say that you put a limit on it, and they would only be allowed, what the law says that the banks can't process these payments. We have said, okay, you can use a debit card, or, and you might even yeah. limit it to this, only to a prepaid card. The other point is, is people are gonna do it. And this notion, if, if there's something that people want to do, and it's not hurting somebody else, yeah, but, but it's bad for something. them, they're going to keep doing it. It's like, I remember when they started with the lottery. The lottery was going to make us have the most fantastic schools in the world. Every child would have a computer, every kid would have every school book, with all the money you raised from gambling. Where did all this money go? Why are the schools in such bad shape, and everybody's gambling? I, I don't get it. The answer is twofold. First yeah. of all, the problem that teachers and others face in the school can't always be solved by money. You know, part of the problem is that there are kids. No, no, but they sold us the lottery on well, the idea that it would all. Okay, so let me make a general point. Go ahead. The fact that somebody oversells an idea doesn't make it a bad idea. Mm -hmm. It makes them a bad salesman. Because people tell you that something is going to do more than it does, you can't say, okay, we won't accept the good that it does. Right. And I do think there are limits, unfortunately, to the extent to which money in schools can overcome the kind of conditions so many kids live in. Yeah. Secondly, it has helped. And the third thing I would say is this. Why do we want to ban it in the first place? If you want to make a bet, look, if you want to hit somebody, if you want to burn somebody's house or steal somebody's car, which you might want to do, depending on what kind of car right, it was, right. I understand that, um, then I want to stop you gotcha. because you can't do that to somebody else. But if you want to be a little foolish with your money, if you want to gamble, if you want to drink, if you want to smoke, yeah. I will tell you I think it's a bad idea, but I think it's a mistake for the government to try and stop you. And, by the way, you talk about saving money, um, uh, take another one, uh, smoking marijuana. Mm -hmm. We go around chasing people. Again, but see, to me, smoking marijuana, but smoking marijuana is essentially legal now. You can get it anywhere, and if you get caught, it's a, the most minimum. Well, then why have hypocrisy here? Let's make it legal. No, but the trouble is when you make it legal, no, no, but when you make it legal, you now have Philip Morris and all the big tobacco companies, hey, kids, this is Acapulco no, Gold. No, in the first place, they can't I mean, do that. Right now, Anybody that wants to smoke can smoke. Well, see, I think that's a mistake. I want the law to be respected. If something's illegal, I want you to go after it. And it's very unfair to the police officers mm -hmm. who have a tough enough job. I don't want to say to the cops, hey, look, we're saying it's illegal, but wink at it and go after this one and not that one. There's yeah. also an element of racial discrimination in the way yeah. it's enforced, and it costs us money. I do agree you can limit this to kids. And in fact, we've done that. You don't have Philip Morris. Joe Camel has disappeared. I know he's not Philip Morris. I'm fixing right, my metaphors right. here. But I think you can limit it to kids. Uh, you, you can limit the advertising to kids. And I think as a general rule, the government shouldn't be trying to live people's lives for them. You protect people from other people hurting them. If people want to do something, I guess it, it just them. seems like you're not you're raising money by not manufacturing or make. You know, England came back after the war because it was export or die. They made products they could sell overseas and bring money back you to their islands. You do both, and that's what we need you to do. You do both. I, oh yes, I want to help okay. manufacturing. Zero. We, I want to. I want to expand. But by the way, one of the things you can do is to reduce taxing on some of the manufacturing if you can find voluntary revenue elsewhere. Yeah, but if, if we still make anything. Will you come back and argue with me some more? <laughs> yes, I will. I love arguing with you. Thank, Thank you. you.